Wow, that was the Flying Scotsman. Welcome to Partick Hill Station. Welcome back to uh, the next stage of tenement building. Now this material here is called Foam X. It's uh, three millimetres thick and I'm going to try and construct a tenement building from this. So this is the first uh, part of what I'm going to try and do uh, in terms of laying this uh, construction out on this card. Now, the dimensions that I know is that it's 188 millimetres, uh, to the top of the, uh, the chimney. So, just going to mark that out before I cut it. And the width is 115. Figuring I might change this around. So if I say it's one hundred and fifteen wide, yeah, this is a better way to do it. One hundred and fifteen wide by one hundred and eighty. Eight and a hundred and fifteen to just do that again. something right there. Measure twice, cut once. Hundred 
115 from there. Okay, so so twenty two down from there. I've got to strike a line. Across there, and that will take us to. Oh, where is it? Measure twice, cut once. And so the middle of the building is, uh, so that's 115, which is 50, 75. Uh, no. So it's 150. 115, 2, 5, 10, 57.5. Let's do that here too. And that's the middle of that gable end of the building, as you would say. And then same here. Fifty seven point five fifty seven point five. Yeah. Now, what that means is, yeah. And if I come up. <clears throat> I think it's hundred and twenty. And a hundred and twenty. And then I'll nick that sort of there like that. And then what we do is from there it should be Sixty two above that. And that's there and there. And so And 
getting to the peak. And then above that is a chimney. So there's your gable end, the two of them. And the chimney is in there. And the chimney is 30 millimetres wide. This is scale of um, zero, uh, double O gauge, four millimetres to the foot. And this is what it works out to be. So that would be... Actually, be that and that. All right, so what that gives us then is that and that. So there you have the shape of the gable end. Once again, measure twice, cut once. Okay, so that's the basic outline of the two ends of a tenement building. Now, before I cut this out, I'm going to uh, well, I, I was going to put uh, the flu the chimney flue in, but I'll leave that till later. So I guess I can I can cut this out. So I've misplaced my scalpel, uh, but here is an Ofa, and uh, it's brand new. So this will make it uh, easy uh, to cut through this material. Once again, um, I emphasize uh, you exercising uh, some care uh, when using sharp knives like this. So I'm using a steel rule. Now, I've got a W-shaped one, which is even safer. Um, now the thing is I don't want to cut into my drawing table now I'm, I've got a piece of this uh, uh, cord corrugated uh, cardboard that comes with large appliances and that would be ideal to use as a cutting board as I can't find suitable size one for, for this. 
so this should make it pretty simple. So once again, uh, just take your time with this. Don't put too much pressure uh, on the knife. It might take two or three to go through here, but I think I've already gone through and I'm cutting into the to the cardboard. Yeah, okay. And then I'll cut this one. Try and keep the knife vertical. Three cuts will do it. Anyway, you can see that I missed a bit of it there, but that's all because. You know, the, the knife wasn't vertical and at 90 degrees to the surface, so I can fix that. You don't need to watch me screwing up this anymore, so we'll move on to the next part. So there are the two ends of the uh, tenement building. And I just need a little bit of a trim. Uh, Get them lined up properly but that's okay i'm quite happy with that <coughs> excuse me uh the tricky part will be uh cutting the front and the back because you know it is a rectangle but there are numerous uh windows and a door in each to be cut so that will take a while anyway i may post this as an introduction and then we'll follow up with it later i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please remember to give me the big thumbs up and check out my channel and we'll see you next time at party hill station bye for now